Good afternoon and a warm welcome. The next three live sessions will be pre-recorded due to the fact that we are on the road and we are busy. We are going to visit Cape Town for a book shoot, but also an interview with Minky van der Beestuizen. We're also going to start filming the Joe Black series. So for the next three weeks, bear with us. We are still going to be in your living rooms, in your bedrooms, wherever you watch this video, and we are still going to share some creative inspiration. It will just not be live, but we still be there while this video is playing to answer all questions and make sure you are helped. What we are going to do for this session is to show how to transform old picture frames into something new and fresh in your study, in a living room, in your bedroom. So what we have done is we have actually painted this inner in Godfrey's glimpse. So it was white originally and we've painted it and we've removed the print that was in there. And what we've done, and I'll show this step now, is we have on the backing of, your, of the picture frame, we have stenciled off Paris some sections and paint, painted it in cloud white. So it's not perfect, there's texture and there's reason for this. So I'm going to show you how we spread the stencil of Paris that everything makes sense. So on the backing that will go into your picture frame. So on that side, you are going to apply your stencil of Paris randomly. Um, I'm going to do it at the back so that the process makes sense, but you will just do it on the reverse side. So I have some mixed paint in my stencil of Paris. I'm just going to move underneath the paint and just scrape some areas with stencil of Paris. Randomly spread it. I'm going to add more here at the top. And you can decide how much you want on the background of your new DIY painting. That's going to have geometrical shapes and patterns and no one even will know that it was hand painted by you. Quickly within 10 minutes. Okay, this is the only step that will require time, drying time. So depending on the thickness of your application, this can take between one to one and a half hours, even two, depending on the weather as well, to dry. So wait. Now you're going to wait one hour to two hours until you can put your fingernail in there, press your fingernail in there and you, there will be no marks left. Then you know it has dried properly. Then what you are going to do once this is dry, you are going to paint it in a background color. I have selected cloud white. For those that don't know chalk or paint, has got a beautiful palette and you can change it into any color of your choice. I'm going to keep it very neutral and I'll show you what the thinking process is on mine. Just to come back to the stencil of Paris, this is actually a product that we use for our stencil work, to give our stencil work an embossed feeling, a raised effect. Um, but there are so many uses for the stencil of Paris and we're even going to, with the next session, share more creatives on that. So if this now makes sense, apply your stencil of Paris randomly, wait to dry, paint in a color, chocolate color of your choice. Mine was done in cloud white. And then I'm going to start with the next very fun, very easy way, a lovely thing to also do with children. And you can even cut potatoes into shapes. You can use a fork, change the fork into different directions. We have shown those before. But it's lovely for a party theme to keep children creative. And the art pieces are so beautiful that you're actually at a point when they dry and complete it, want to hang them in your house. What I'm now going to do is I'm at the bottom, you can see I've tasted already. I'm going to with matte black. This is the color I'm using next. And it's just a soft chocolate sample jar. And you won't need more than this. It's a 28 mil. I'm going to paint 
any piece of porcelain in your house, anything that you can see has more than one use. I think, and I've said it before, when working with charcoal, you start to see possibilities in everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to stamp with a, with a bucky onto my used picture frame. And I just make sure And the more imperfect it is, the more art, arty it is. And then something I'm going to do, so I'm just going to repeat this and you will watch me as I do it. I'm just going to repeat Godfrey's glimpse on one circle randomly somewhere. So this is how to quick, quick, quickly and easily transform art pieces in your house into something unique and something you have done yourself. I simply can't resist to get dirty and um, this is Godfrey's glimpse. Godfrey is such a special person in our factory. He's deaf and we are all trying to understand him better by learning sign language. Um, but just as beautiful as his colour is, um, that's the amazing person he also is. So this is Godfrey and I'm going to place him here. If there is any unevenness on your surface, you can simply twist the bow around just to complete the circle. And I'm going to try and show you. So I position it and then move around until my circle is complete. I will remove Godfrey now with a kitchen towel and I will continue with matte black. So as this is absolute um, <laughs> creative inspiration, I just want to do something extra in the Godfrey Glimpse circle. So I found a smaller bowl and I'm not even going to in the center but off center, just press another circle. And our arch piece is complete. I'll now wait for this to dry completely then I'll put it back in my frame, I'll hang it on my wall, and I'll send you a picture. I hope this has inspired you that anyone can create art. Have the most fabulous and amazing week, and we'll see each other again next week with more inspiration and creative ideas.